Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in good spirits wherever you are in the world. So once again, please continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and take very good care of yourselves and your loved ones during these times. Let's stay strong. We can win this. And today, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make another recommendation, if I could, for a film that I think is very worthy. And if you haven't seen it, I think it is really, really worth checking out if you haven't already. And I was reminded of this film during some questions that were posed to me during this past Q&A rush of videos that I've had the great pleasure of making in response to a lot of questions that were posed by you, my dear friends. Among those questions was about Japanese cinema and what were some of my favorite Japanese films. This film, which I'm about to mention, came up in the conversation, and I think this is one that is so worth checking out. It is from a filmmaker that really is one of the premier artists of cinema, not just of Japanese cinema, he's that too, but also of cinema in general, and the kinds of, of hard truths or seeking of truth that he is trying to achieve in his films, and in particular this one, which is a true gem. It has a kind of sorrow and has a real depth of sadness on the one hand, and yet it is filled with a true sense of purpose and poetry and a kind of beautiful respect given to all of the characters concerned, but in particular the character of Keiko, played by the one and only Hideko Takamine, one of the great actresses of Japanese cinema. Hideko Takamine stars as Keiko in this film from 1960, directed by Mikio Naruse. This film is When a Woman Ascends the Stairs. This is one of my absolute favorite Japanese films, and I haven't had the pleasure of being able to talk about the works of Naruse on this channel as much as I would like, but if I had the opportunity, I certainly would. And for anyone who has yet to experience the works of Naruse, and believe me, the career and filmography of Naruse is very, very vast and very long and very intriguing. It might be worthwhile to check out this gem, which admittedly falls in the later part of his career, but still it highlights so many concerns and so many interests that populate his cinema. And we have here, as I say, a, a really sorrowful and yet poetic story about a woman in Japan on the cusp of a kind of of Japanese past, but also on the cusp of a sort of modernity, and how she is trying to strive for a kind of, of quixotic or even paradoxical independence, and what she has to go through based on her experiences both now and in the past. And this creates a tableau of something that is very close, if not fully achieving, a kind of, of uh, sheer cinematic beauty. And there is also great depths of sorrow, as I mentioned. There is also twinges of sadness, but there are also senses of a real purpose and a real shine to life that is brought to life by Naruse's direction and the great, great, great performance by one of the great Japanese actresses of the age, which is Hideko Takamine. This is the film When a Woman Ascends the Stairs. Now, as I say, I've meant, I may have mentioned this film a couple of times in passing, perhaps, on this channel, 
but I have never been able to talk about this film in detail. I would love the opportunity to talk about this because this is really uh, one of the uh, one of the great, great pinnacles, not just of Naruse's career, but also in the span of Japanese cinema going forward. And it really is a, a key work. Anyone who is fascinated or interested to pursue more works in Japanese cinema, uh, but who has not yet experienced this particular film, When the Woman Ascends the Stairs, I would strongly urge you to try to find a copy of this and watch it right now. This is a DVD from the Criterion Collection. As far as I understand it at the moment, the Criterion Collection has not released this on a Blu-ray, but still this is a very good DVD, so uh, please check it out if you are able to. Also I understand that uh, as far as I, I uh, am aware, the Criterion Channel uh, which is the streaming service of the Criterion Collection, does have a, a, a good selection, a very great selection, I think, of Naruse works. Now, I'm not sure if that's still the case or if there has been some updates to the Criterion Channel, channel menu, but in any event, if you can find this film or other films on the Criterion Channel, I would strongly, strongly, strongly urge you to give them a try and in particular this one if you have the opportunity. It is not long, it is only about what 111 minutes so that's less than two hours and it has a really nice almost jazzy kind of modernity feel to it so it, 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 it is uh, not wholly classical in its approach although there are classical elements to it I think but it also has uh, uh, a certain mode of cinematic modernity which I think was very much in vogue at the time which is 1960 and there is also uh, that sense that is uh, traveling not th not only through the the scope of the narrative but also in the visual style and the way that the the story is shown through the cinematic lens and so there is so much here and uh, above all that or maybe amongst all that let me put it that way is as I say a true harrowing, deep, profound, emotional core. The story is riveting. It will grab you and it won't let go. And when it reaches its final notes, uh, believe me, there will be a kind of strong, strong emotional resonance that will continue and will hopefully echo uh, enough within the hearts and minds of the viewers such that the name of Naruse will forever be etched uh, in your own cinematic uh, perceptions and thus hopefully this will be one stop of many in terms of a cinematic journey through the works of Japanese cinema and in particular through the works of Mikio Naruse. This is a big one. This is one of the big ones in Japanese cinema. So I strongly, strongly recommend the film When a Woman Ascends the Stairs. It is one of my favorites. Yes. So with that, my friends, I'd like to just say thank you very much again for your time. And until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much again for your time. And cheers. Thank you.